As a boy, I often found myself in the kitchen looking to hang out with my grandmother. And I remember on one particular day, Granny was making a cake. Now the smell of that cake had piqued my curiosity and even tickled my stomach. I found myself inching closer and closer and closer to the stove. When I was sure my grandmother wasn't looking, I pulled down the oven door to get a better look and a better smell of what was inside. I heard my grandmother shout from across the kitchen, close the door and you better hope those cakes don't fall. There's nothing worse than watching a cake that had so much promise fall because a little boy like me wanted to get a peek at it too early. The same thing happens for us. As we start a new year, we are so excited. We've done vision boards, we've read books, We've broken out our calendars and our journals, and we are excited about the potential of this new year. But sometimes our excitement moves us to go a bit too far and a bit too fast. For some of us, every step of the way, every milestone, every inch toward our goal, we think that we have to stop and let somebody else get a peek at the process. And what can happen is our enthusiasm is diminished because someone starts to poke or give their opinions or tell us how it won't work. In many cases, these aren't individuals who have actually done the thing we're trying to do. They could be well-meaning or some of them are just plain nosy. Here's my advice for you as we start a new year. The people closest to you, the ones who will be most impacted, the people that you have to partner with on your team to bring things to fruition, you need to constantly remind those individuals of what the goal is, of what the plan is, of what the vision is. But for everybody else, they don't need to know that much. That temporary sense of support that you get when you let everybody know you wrote a thousand words towards your 50,000 word project, when you let everybody know that you knocked out your goals and made 25 sales calls in one day, when you let everybody know that you worked out every day for 21 days without missing a day, that temporary sense of satisfaction will pale in comparison to what you feel when you actually finish the thing that you're trying to do. So in 2019, I wanna challenge you to be a bit quieter about the process. And when it's done, when it's finished, when it's accomplished, let everybody get a good look, a long look at the finished product. Because if you give too many people a peek at what's going on with you before it's finished, there's a possibility that what you're trying to accomplish may not rise at all. Let's make it happen this year. Have a happy new year.